Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Doodlebug Design just released two new collections and they are both absolutely adorable. Their Halloween collection is called Monster Madness and they also have a new fall collection called Farmer's Market. I'll start with Monster Madness and show you everything I purchased. I have the 6x6 paper pad. There are lots of adorable images, really fun colors. And even though this was released for Halloween cards, I think it would still be perfect for some fun and cheerful birthday cards, especially for kids. There are some designs that are Halloween specific, but you could always flip that over and use the other side. That's the nice thing about Doodlebug collections. There are always lots of designs that can be used year round. I bring cards every month to the residents at a nearby retirement home, and I think the monster images with a fun hello would make them smile. There are a few sheets that have cut apart images and sentiments. Not sure if I'll use any of them. I always find the tags to be just a little bit too small for cards. If you do like the tags, you can purchase the 12 by 12 size, then it's a little easier to use for cards. Next, I have the two ephemera packs. There's the odds and ends. This is Monster Madness. And I'm not gonna take these out, but I will zoom in so you can get a better look at what's included. Lots and lots of adorable monster images. I've already finished all my Halloween cards for this year, but I'll definitely be using some of this collection for Halloween cards next year. I also have the Monster Madness Chit Chat. Lots of really fun sentiments. Many of them are specifically for Halloween, but there are others that you could use for different card themes. The next item is a sheet of puffy icon stickers. The same adorable images just in a fun little puffy sticker. These are really fun, but I did notice the colors aren't quite as vibrant as the ephemera and the cardstock icon stickers. Next up, I have three different Doodle Pop sets. These are all adorable little monsters. There are other Doodle Pops and also Shaker Pops with this collection, but I decided just to get the three this time. I did pick up two rolls of washi tape. I have the cute little monsters and a fun plaid design. Then I have two of the shape sprinkles. The tiny candy corn will be perfect for Halloween cards. And I also have Midnight Magic, and I love all the pretty star colors. Here's the sheet of cardstock icon stickers, so you can see how bright and vibrant they are compared to the puffy stickers. There are so many adorable monster images, and the icon stickers are nice since they're smaller than the ephemera pieces. They also don't have that white outline, and I know some people don't care for that. I did pick up the 12 by 12 paper pack this time. Generally, I purchase the sheets individually, but I thought I would just go for the full paper pack. It also includes a sheet of stickers on the back side. Lots of sentiments, and there's a couple of fun border stickers at the bottom. The final item I purchased from the Monster Madness collection is the 12 by 12 Petite Print Assortment. The colors match perfectly with the collection, and it's nice to have some of those tone-on-tone -tone designs to mix in with the busier patterns in the 6x6 paper pad. Now moving on to the Farmer's Market collection, and this is another really cute collection. You could use it for fall cards, but I think a lot of it would be perfect year round. I'll start with the 6x6 paper pad. All of Doodlebug 6x6 paper pads have 24 double-sided sheets. I'll flip through it quickly so you can get an idea of what's included. There is the sheet with the mini tags. Not sure if I'll be using those. I do try to sneak in a few of them when I'm doing a full 6x6 video. I really love the images and sentiments on the tags. I just think they're a little too small for card making. There are so many fun gardening images in this collection. So that's why I think it'll be great for spring or summer cards. But there's also that fun mix with the fall leaves and the fall colors. So I'll flip around the paper pad so you can see the other side. There is a fun sheet with cut apart images and sentiments. And many of the sentiments can be used year round. There are several thanks, hello, happy birthday, and thinking of you. The collection includes several different plaid designs, lots of polka dots. Here's the sheet with the cut apart borders. I love the sentiment, eat your veggies. 
Here are a couple of tone on tone polka dot designs. There's the back side of the mini tags, and the final sheet is a narrow plaid design. There are several ephemera packs this time. I purchased three of them. I believe there is one more. The first one is the Odds and Ends Farmer's Market. I'll zoom in so you can get a closer look at what's included. Lots of fun images. There's a few critters, beautiful trees. We have some pumpkins, a pickup truck. Then we have the Odds and Ends Veggie Garden. So this one will be perfect for summertime. The final ephemera pack I purchased is the Chit Chat. Some of the sentiments are fairly large, perfect for scrapbooking. I personally love to use all the small banners and the circle sentiments. There are two puffy icon sticker sets with the Farmer's Market collection. The Veggie Garden is the set on the right and Farmer's Market is the set on the left. Lots of adorable images, but again, I do find that the colors aren't quite as vibrant as the ephemera and the cardstock icon stickers. Here you can see the difference. This is the sheet of cardstock icon stickers. Really bright and vibrant colors. I love all the fun images. Basically just a smaller version of the ephemera and it doesn't have that white border around the images. Next up are some shape sprinkles. I have apple for a day and also falling for you. I love this small size of the little hearts. I purchased two of the washi tape rolls. I have veggie garden and also thankful for you. And I only bought two of the doodle pops this time. I have veggie garden and also a bit of sunshine, which has the beautiful sunflowers. I did purchase the 12 by 12 pack. There are 12 pattern paper sheets and there's also a sheet of the stickers. More fun images and lots and lots of sentiments. There's all the little sentiments there in the center. And at the bottom of this sheet, we have some colorful border stickers. So that's everything I purchased from the two collections, but there are tons of other products available. I will have links provided in the description box if you are interested in any of the products I showed in this collection or you want to go and check out the rest of the release. Doodlebug's new Christmas collection will be coming soon. It's called Candy Cane Lane and it's absolutely adorable. You can pre-order the collection and I will add links in the description box below. I believe it's supposed to be coming out in the next couple weeks. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.